Father, we thank you for the touch of heaven. We receive your anointing fully, the mantle of leadership, to rule in this generation, to do what you've always assigned us, what you've had us born for. We thank you for the fire. We receive it. We thank you for total healing. From the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, everything in us healed. Anything the devil ever put in us is coming out of us. Anything the devil tried to take out of us is coming back. Anything he stole is coming back, multiplied times. Anything he tried to do is crushed forever. Anything the worms have eaten away at, over time is being restored back. It's being brought back. It's being brought back. The elevation, the unveiling of the new season, the new thing that you're doing is coming forth in Jesus' name. I thank you for the winds of the Spirit will take us everywhere we need to be and the power of heaven will fall upon the earth and change men's and women's lives to the point of they, they don't even know that anything could ever happen like that. We thank you, Lord, for this divine surprise that just took place. We thank you, Lord, for the open doors. We thank you, Lord, for the favor. Let us work in cultivating those things with the right relationships. I was hearing that last night, surprise, friendship, relationships, the right people, the right open doors, the right connection, honor and favor. Where the honor and favor is, that's where we'll be. Anywhere else, we won't be there. We'll never try to convince dead men of anything. We'll never try to teach a, a person that doesn't want to be a student anything. We have nothing to say to them. They can get it another way or they can hear the words from far, but the inner circle and the teams and the people will be people that are filled with the glory, fill us with the glory to overflowing. It, it, nothing will ever be unanointed or dead or flat or wrong or compromised. We thank you for heaven's agenda that's coming on the earth. Fill your vessels with your glory and use me, Lord, to bring it forth. Use me that you can flow through me. I say it forever, yes. I've always said that. Thank you, Lord, for people being filled with the fire and the power and the glory of God that they can go and see things changing. Thank you for miracles of healing. Father, every kind of miracle of healing we need from our head to our toes, and all the internal organs, everything in us, heal us in Jesus' name. All the deliverance we need of anything that's ever transpired by atmosphere, occurrence, event, anything, anything evil, we break and destroy it and cast it out. The effect of it, of it leaves us. I command the heart and the lungs and the circulation and the blood vessels and all the, all the systems of the body to be completely normal and whole. In fact, make them within us younger than our, even our natural years. The inside of us, we're, we're a younger person than we are by age number. I've seen that happen. People look at me. Someone was looking at me, asking me how my age. I said, I don't tell my age. I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that a while back. I don't tell my age, so why not, and I made a joke, you guess. The person said 35. I said, are you kidding me? No, it's not that, thank you, but no. 35, 40 maybe, yeah, no, 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 no. I said, well, that's it. It was prophesied to me years ago, it said, when you're, when you're a, a man way on in years, you look like a younger man, always. It's true, it's true. It's true. Father, I speak to that thing right now, that word you spoke. I claim it, I command it to manifest in every area. Anything the enemy's trying to do in any way, shape, or form against me, against any of us, is destroyed today in Jesus' name. Your healing fire is here. We receive it, we appropriate it, we activate it, we, we partake of it. We, we put it into manifestation and motion by our words. In Jesus' name, the healing grace, the apostolic grace, the fire of heaven is upon us. I thank you, Lord, that it's like it's so tangible, it's so real, and it's going to have the effect of making us strong. Anything in the physical man that needs to be cleansed out, let it be cleansed and flushed out. Anything that's in any way toxic or wrong or imbalanced or, or not operating correctly, we, just, we speak to it and command it to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for the fire of heaven that's upon us now. We receive it. We lift our hands and we receive it fully, 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 fully. We don't want to miss any of it. 
We don't want any of it to go on and, and blow away. We claim it all right now into us in Jesus' name. We command a new heart, new blood vessels, new arteries, cleared of any affliction of age or use or whatever. All the internal organs be cleansed and flushed out every, of any toxicity or anything wrong. All of them, every one of them. Make us new again. Make us younger. Turn the clock back. Give us health. Like the man that saw heaven in, uh, in heaven, he saw uh, uh, Abraham. And he said he knew he was of a great age, but his face countenance was young, like a young man. He was a very ancient old man. Ancient in age, but his countenance was young. I saw that in Kenneth Hagin years ago when I was with him. He got very close to me and I looked very carefully at his face and his eyes and his countenance. He had a youth, a youth on his skin. It was the touch of the Holy Ghost. He was a man already in his 70s by then. But yet his countenance on his skin, his face had a, a young glow to it. And he lived completely healthy without any disease. And he went young, I think he was 84. He just was sitting at the table. He smiled at his wife and bowed his head. He was gone. That's the way he passed on. Didn't say a word. He just looked over, smiled, and just bowed his head like that. He was gone. But he, was, he wasn't sick at all. He had no sickness in him. He was touched by heaven. Lord, we claim that right now. I'm saying that for a reason. We claim that right now. I'm saying that for a reason. We claim that right now. These men that say they're full of the word, they're our friends, they're our generals, they're our connected people. All these other buffoons who purport to be gospel people and they got nothing. They got no fire. They got no Holy Ghost. They got nothing. They don't, they don't share the word. They don't do anything that God is releasing. We want nothing to do with them at all. Keep them on the outside. We love them. We hope they'll get delivered. We pray for them. We commit them into your hands, Father. Touch them and revive them. Part of our assignment, too, I'm sure, will be for us, our ministry, to touch them, some of them. But they'll have to humble themselves and receive. If they do that, wonderful. We, we love it. We want to see it. But we have no company with evildoers. Psalm 1 was clear. Don't be in the way of sinners and the scornful and the evildoers. Don't be with them. Don't be with them. Keep from them and keep them from you. Every attack and assault that comes on the inside with someone you trusted that you shouldn't have trusted. We know about that. Try to be nice to everybody. No, you can't do that. Try to accept everybody. Or even believe good about people that are no good. I've done it too. I've done it. Lord, forgive us of that. Let us never do it again. Cleanse us. Cleanse the atmosphere. Cleanse the environment. And let it be a a place of your habitation, your holy place, that's us. Let the power of God move through us to touch this generation quickly now. Everything needs to go fast. We don't have time to wait or time to waste. It has to happen right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, you said if you be lifted up, you'll draw people to yourself. Draw them from everywhere. Make us ready to receive them, too. That's important. Make us all be ready. Every preacher, every gospel ministry, every person, every business person. Every, be ready for the increase and the growth. Let God prepare you for it. That when it happens, you can handle it. That's an important prayer. That's important. How do you contain something if you can't handle it? 
And Lord, I just see this right now. We repent of this too. That's what we could all repent about. We've kept things of higher things back because we, we weren't ready for it. You said in Isaiah 60, 22, you'll hasten it in its time. Not your time or my time. God says, I'm already ready. And the Lord says, you're getting ready. But when it's ready, when you fulfilled it, you're ready for it, then it'll happen. Didn't mean, scripture didn't mean Isaiah 60, 22, that there was a time for it. On a calendar month or day or year. No, and that's error. That's an erroneous thought. That's also been crept up in the church. Not this timing thing. It's like when it's ready, I'm already ready. When you get ready, you and me are together. Boom, it happens. That's what Isaiah 60, 22 means. And in the same verse, it said a little one will become like a thousand. Aratela, what a powerful verse. And people misquote it and spoil it. I've heard it happen. It's so it's blasphemy. It makes me it makes me furious when people do that. Try to make it chalk it up to it's a timing verse. No, you skip the first part, you religious uh, error, error, error person. Foolishness. A little one will become like a thousand, and a small one like a strong nation. Me, I'm like a strong nation. Yeah, like a thousand and more. Why? Because of the touch of God. And that's in the... Cha so you got to look at it in the context. That's in the chapter that says, from the first verse, arise and shine, because the glory is upon you. Last verse, that's the first verse. 22 is the last verse. A little one will become like a thousand, and a small one like a strong nation. I, the Lord, will... Hasten it to be so in its time. I'll hasten it to see it performed in its time, which is when you're ready. Father, we receive that. The whole chapter of Isaiah 60, all that's in there, we receive it. The wealth of the Gentiles, the forces of the Gentiles, kings coming to the brightness of our rising. When we rise, they come. And this is happening. It's a tangible event. We're so grateful, Lord. We want to say a huge thank you for what you're doing. We're so grateful. We're so thrilled about it. We're so pleased. We're so privileged that you would put your hand upon us. Again, the gl glory's here. You can, it's tangible. It's all in the atmosphere. Just receive it right now. Put your hands on yourself so much. Lord, let it go into me. Let me receive this impartation. Somebody wrote me yesterday and said today would be like an impartation, you know. Holy Ghost impartation. I was like, well, interesting point, but then they didn't go the extra step to get here. They could have come, but they didn't come. But they said it. Funny enough, they said they were tapping into something, but they didn't follow through. So, Lord, in light of that, we're going to follow through. See, the follow through is everything. Something could happen, it's an event, it's wonderful, yeah, God sh did something, showed up. But then we have to walk it out. It's not enough that it happened, it's an, it's, the main thing is to walk it out, to follow through. Everything in life is about follow through, everything. Everything. In fact, I don't know anything in life that's not about following through, following up, following through, I don't know anything. I can't think of anything. I think everything has to do with that. Every relationship, connection, business, whatever you do, like younger education, you have to apply yourself. All, it's all follow up, follow up, follow, follow up, and follow through. So this little dictation here will be a recording. We're not on film, but we'll have to put this into print that people can read this. Because the weight of what was just spoken is so, is so amazing. Let everyone apply this to their lives, Lord. Wherever I can play this audio somewhere, people can hear it, I'll also let them hear it. This is a very powerful 
heavenly prayer and declaration over people that they can receive the glory of God in their in themselves and carry it. Carry it, carry it. Follow through and follow up. Don't ever, I mean, remember that. Just keep remembering that. Follow through and follow up. Follow through, follow up. Show up, push forward. Dress up. Get up. Go out, show up. Go up, show up, whatever that saying is. Dress up, get up, dress up, go up, go up, show up. And follow through. Huh? Yeah. Show up. Show up. Get out, go up, show up. And grow up in the process to a higher level. Go up, grow up, grow up, you'll go up. I did a message on that. Man, this is glorious today. I tell you, Lord, you're just amazing. Thank you for the manifestation of this in reality for good people. The army is rising. I see the army rising to be fruitful and productive. And Lord, we'll never, we'll never get distracted to concern ourselves with evildoers. In fact, you, you rebuke the psalmist saying, fret not yourself because of them. Ignore them, sidestep them, for I'm raising you. I'm doing something great in you. So just... For, stay focused on that. And that's great wisdom in that. There's great wisdom in that. Wow. Ura kia basende de manche leso. Maratela achi akai to sai iton shele andu yokosaya. Fala aretele bosaka angele stete. Sate na manche to osaka tia sandara. Vara tera brosa candisha lo sikatea. Shalabata, again, the enemy's crushed. The enemy's bound. Yeah, Lord. Nothing shall by any means affect us or hurt us. We're sealed unto the day of redemption by the Holy Ghost. The same power that dwelt in Christ to raise him from the dead dwells in us. The glory that Isaiah talked about, arise and shine, for God's glory is in you and upon you. It's in us and upon us. We thank you, Lord, that this generation will change. You said also you'll make places, create places that will be open day and night, and their doors will, and gates will never be shut. That's the house of God. That's the move of God. That's, Father, erect what you want to erect. I f was feeling convicted this morning, like the next thing of everything that needs to be done has to manifest now, has to appear now. All of the properties, all of the facilities, all the equipment, all the people, all the wealth, everything, the treasures to build it, to have it flourish, has to come to us right now with great speed, with, in great acceleration. We receive it from you right now in Jesus' name for the work of your, of your work, of your ministry, and for, the, for your own glory, Lord. Manifest it right now. I believe you'll answer this prayer by fire. Mark 11, 24, you said the things you desire when you pray, believe you receive them, you'll have them. I believe I receive them, and I'll have them right now. Y'all can say that too. I believe I receive. I'm praying. I desire. I believe I'm receiving it, and I will have it. I will have it. It'll be in my possession and being used operationally by me from right now. In Jesus' name. Lord, everything on heaven and earth, everything that's going on, destroy every opposition that's tried to hold anything that's ours or stand in the way. I speak fire upon all of that and all of them. They'll fall off and fall down and get out of the way. And everything you've ordained is coming to us. It doesn't matter who says what, who wants what, who's doing what, what is said that's needed and all that. It's nonsense. Break and destroy it now, Father. Send your angels to do that for us because the things that are, are there are needed right now to be in our possession, to use for your glory, for your work, and for the sake of the blessing of humanity all around the world. We thank you that it's done. We thank you that it's done. 
Lord, let the miraculous be flowing in us. Anything wrong, any pain, any abnormality, any malady, infirmity, disease, problem, affliction. It's broken and cast out now in Jesus' name. And Psalm 91, 16 told us, you will be satisfied with long life because your mind has stayed on him. I thank you, Lord, for divine protection, divine health, divine prosperity, and the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow. The fire of heaven that's upon us because you chose to pour it out upon us. Thank you for the hunger that brought it through for others. We do the same. We do the same. We make a demand upon the anointing and the word to produce. We say it will produce what it said it will produce. We claim it. You said in Isaiah 55, 10 and 11, your word will not return to you void. It will produce and prosper the thing I've sent it to do. The thing you call for it to do, it will happen. Isaiah 55, 10 and 11, and it will prosper and not return back to him empty. It will not leave us empty. Several things I hate are empty things. Don't like empty things. I like, I like full things. Full, full, full. We're supposed to live off the top of the barrel, not the bottom. Fill the barrel, get it to the top, use some off the top, and keep refilling it up from almost to the top back to the top. Never get down to the bottom where it's empty. It's a principle in life. Then you always have, when you think like that, pray like that, prophesy like that, declare like that, desire like that, uh, uh, command things to be like that, you're always living in surplus. You always have enough and more than enough. You're not like get to the end and you go, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, no, I need something. It's already there. And you get used to having a lot. A lot of people can't handle that mentally. What if I'm so blessed and I have so much that it would seem to others to be like too much? Everything I have is paid for. Everything I want is there. Everything I need is there. I, I don't have a care in the world or a need in the world. Everything, I'm, I'm living in total abundance. Most people are very afraid of that. Or there's something that the enemy tries to do to block them from walking into that. The Lord says, I'm destroying all that within you, my precious sons and daughters. I'm destroying that whole concept, that whole reference point of that kind of struggling life, lifestyle. Wow. And I'm bringing you into the realm of Having more than enough. Abundance and prosperity to overflowing. So be it in Jesus' mighty name. Father, from this evening, let us begin to feel, from today, this very day and hour, let us begin to feel more energized. I break stress. Whatever caused it, alleviate it. Whatever we need to not live in any kind of stress, give it to us now. Yeah, Lord, I see those things too, you know, what you show me, I see. And uh, bring them to us right now. Those things, I'm seeing them right now. Bring them to us right now. That everything in life is comfortable and beautiful and easy and smooth. Not haggard and impoverished and stressed stressful or uncomfortable or irritating and those things wear on people no wonder people die young and they're unhealthy and messed up their nerves are shattered their emotions are shattered so many problems and they think i'm strong i'm strong i keep going but after a while you look at them and you say oh it caught up with you didn't it the eventual reality of all that kind of stuff is devastation the eventual result of it Though you didn't see it ha having a problem early on, but later on you look and go, oh, this really have damaged you, it really affected you. Lord, I just command, you, you want us to not live like that. You don't want us to live like that at all. I know that. And I command everything in heaven and earth to be turned upside down and extracted from that we have everything good that we need and want in Jesus' name. Say amen, everybody. Amen.
Everything that we need and want, we have it now. We're not supposed to go on carrying on saying, oh, I'm supposed, I could just do without it. No, you can't. I was wondering about some transportation somewhere. This happened just just now. Uh, and and somebody somebody came with a big car and they were right there and they drove me and then another person took me in a in a in a big Mercedes SUV. Yeah. And they just had it and they they, they came running after me, calling my name, Prophet, Prophet Manton, Prophet, Prophet, Prophet. I turn around looking, I see this whole group of people walking toward me. And it was right at the very end when it was time to go. And I'm thinking, what am I going to arrange now for the transportation? And the person says, come this way. And they got to have this big Mercedes SUV. Is that okay? The Lord saw that and provided that. Are you seeing that? The reason I say that is so we can catch the understanding that God wants us to have everything good. Everything prosperous, everything luxurious, everything in abundance. And that's the law of my land. I don't know what other people think on the outside, but I hope they can come into this tribe and learn of these things. I had several young men of God, women of God, that I saw that I thought, uh, the men especially, I don't think I saw so much. Well, I did for a couple of ladies, but the, the men, the, the men of God, you got to come into this doctrine of dominion. Dominion living, prosperity, the laws of prosperity. You're going you're to learn from me and dive into this, and it's going to manifest for you in your life, in your ministry. They were like, yes, I, I want that. I want to do that. I want it. The Lord has only abundance for us in his mind. He doesn't want us to struggle. He doesn't want anybody to be poor. People choose to be poor by sin, corruption, lifestyle, mindset, and adaptation to what's around them. But when you use the word, you break all that and you move to a higher level. And I prophesy, I say this prophetically right now. God wants multitudes of people to come under this grace. Multitudes of people. Countless multitudes to come under this grace and... Um, receive the revelation and the understanding and then begin to apply it and get it to happen and see it happen in manifestation for them. And that's one of the major assignments on my life in ministry. I love it. I see it. I want it. I'm obedient to you to carry it. Thank you, Lord, that this... These messages will reach many, many multitudes of people, many that we didn't even know we'd reach. And they're going to catch the fire and walk it out. Thank you for a global revival. As I close this here right now, a global visitation from heaven that will become a habitation of God on the earth in many, 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 many countless multitudes of people. The move of God is going to touch all of them. And it's touching you right now. Receive that grace. Receive the grace from him right now. In Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Matthew IV. And I say, Lord, let your kingdom come and your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. It is thus and so. So be it. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Talk to you later.